Hey guys, how are you today? We are here to do some more work in our Four Faces journal. The stencil that we're using for the journal to create the journal is a new one in my Etsy shop. The listing for my shop, I'm sorry, the listing, the link for my shop is in the description below and I'll link the stencil specifically. But look around, I have over 80 stencils I've designed in my shop along with sets of rubber stamps and a bunch of other stuff, so look around. Um, in the last episode, we did this one where we didn't lift the pen up at all. Um, and we used our stencil as a guide for where our features were gonna go in creating our face. Then we decided to do something similar again. We used a different stencil. We used the round face one this time. And this time, instead of the regular Bic Crystal pen I used here, I used one that had water-soluble ink, the Pilot Varsity um, disposable fountain pen. And then once we had our face on there, we used water to smear the ink and add some shadow and interest to our face to create this one. Now we're gonna do another one. Now on this page, <clears throat> I've started the background with uh, just a smearing of some of these pastel acrylic gouache paints by uh, Holbein. Hol yeah, Holbein. Um, these are acrylic gouache, so they don't reactivate with water, number one, um, which I didn't understand why we need, needed that product for a long time, and I take back everything I said about that because these are wonderful, especially if you're using them as a basis for something that you're gonna draw on top of because they've got a very smooth matte finish to the paint. When they're dry, they're a joy to draw on top of. Um, you don't have to have these specifically, but I do recommend if you're gonna try this, use something in the background that's a matte finish paint. Um, if you use your standard acrylic paint, most of them have a glossy finish. And if you've been doing mixed media for a while, you know that the glossy finish paint can be a challenge to draw over. Y'all know that already. So. We've got our matte finish paint here in the background. I just used some sort of random coolish colors in the set of pastel paints that I have. And I'm gonna pick another face. This is one of the Four Faces stencils, uh, as I said in the other video, that has been cut apart. I think we're gonna use this one. And I'm gonna put it down over my painted background and I basically, it just looks like I wiped my dirty paintbrush on the, on the page and that was exactly what I wanted. So I'm gonna center this on the page and we're gonna use a standard number two graphite pencil. And we're gonna trace our shapes lightly. So the one thing about paint is your pencil may not erase very well. So you want to be aware of that. And we're going to just basically put our shapes on there like that. Let's zoom you in. There we go. It's getting late in the day so the shadowing it might be a little bit interesting. So can you even see that? There you go. So we've got our basic shape here and again the stencil is created so that it doesn't give you a complete face and head. This is just to help you as a guide over where your features should go when you're experimenting with creating interesting artistic faces. This is supposed to be a guide so that you create some artistic maybe muscle memory and at some point, at some point you, hopefully you won't need this but if you've never done faces before or you're, you're new at it, this is a guide to give you a idea or suggestion over where the features should go. And this is to make it less stressful. It's also a shortcut for those of us who just don't want to be bothered. This is a good shortcut. All right. So then I'm going to take my Bic Crystal pen, I think. Do I want black though or do I want a color? See, hang on a second. I'm gonna do black. So we're gonna do black. And I'm gonna put on the old reading glasses. I really like the technique of doing messy faces. This is really my thing at the moment. I find these very interesting. Um, I'm just always looking for different ways to do them. I'm not looking for them to be perfect or um, neat and clean.
by any stretch of the imagination. You'll notice that although I'm doing it kind of in a messy fashion, I am, um, I am lifting the pen up. Okay, then I'm going to take some of my um, gel highlighter crayons and some warmer colors than what is in the background to add a pop of uh, lightness, brightness. I'm gonna do pink, the warmer colors, pink, yellow, orange. My um, computer is pinging in the background, sorry about that. I forgot to turn the sound off. Then I'm gonna take my wet brush. I'm gonna just dab, I'm just tapping it off, off camera on a rag, which you can't see, to get some of the water off of it so it's not soaking wet. take a baby wipe. I got that a little bit too wet, which is fine. There we go. So you'll notice I'm having trouble um, getting the color to be where I want it to and to look the way I want. That's because the background's not absorbent, the background's covered in paint. So you wanna remember when you're doing this and you're working on top of something other than raw paper or raw canvas, um, be aware of the properties of that substrate and what it may or may not do. And I am not scared of it, I don't have a problem with that but it does mean sometimes you have to do a little bit more fussing to get the look that you want, which is fine. because the, all the colors are gonna just sit on top of the paint. It's not gonna, there's nothing for it to absorb into. Okay, let's see, I want to get a white. So this part's always challenging. I'm always trying to add white on top of things after I've got paint and these gel crayons on it. It doesn't usually work very well, but we're gonna, I usually try anyway, it never stops me from trying. It does make me try a couple of different things though at times. Um, let's see, here we go. I really have a love-hate relationship with whiteout pens. I have an old video about this. It still gets crazy amounts of views about unclogging them.
This is a Sharpie paint pen. Use what you have, try different things, see what works for you, and keep playing with it until you get something that you are like and you're happy with. It's the whole point of this whole thing. I always work with a baby wipe close by because you know, if you don't like something or you've done too much of something, while it's wet, you can move it around. Okay, let me give this a dry and I'll be right back. Okay, I like the way that looks, but I lost some of the black lines. So I'm gonna take my big pen again. And a little bit more carefully I'm going to try to bring back some of those scribbly shapes. Does it matter if they're not exactly? No, it doesn't matter. Yeah, she's cute. Oh, I, I need to stop touching her. <laughs> Maybe. Okay, let's see. Yep, she's cute. I'm gonna stop touching her. So there you go, there you have it. There's another face in our Four Faces journal. Um, I hope it gives you some ideas of what you can try. Now I want you to, I, I don't I want you to feel like you have to have any particular product to do this. You saw me pull out a few things, but ultimately I used a cheap Bic crystal pen. This is a Bic white, white out pen, a Sharpie paint pen, which is also inexpensive. Um, some gel highlighter p pens. I haven't used anything that's super expensive. Maybe the one thing would be the acrylic gouache paints, but there are matte craft paints that you could use. Um, for this particular page, I chose pastel colors, but you don't have to. Do Use whatever colors that you want in the background. Try to keep them to cool colors. That's the shadow, and then put your face on, and then add your warmer colors and your white to pull her out a little bit and put some parts of her in the bright sunlight. Yeah, and the, so then the background colors become the shadow. And that's it. I hope that's um, something that you can do uh, with your little journal and that you're having fun following along. I'm not sure exactly what we'll do next week, but we'll figure it out. And uh, it didn't bleed through too badly on the back side, but we had our piece of plastic in here, so we're all good. So that's it for today. If you want to get the Four Faces stencil or um, buy one of these little journals or something else. They're all available over in my Etsy shop, so check it out and a lot of other stuff. Um, don't forget to check out that video uh, description down below for all the relevant links, my happy mail address, where to follow me on social media, all that jazz. 
And don't forget to leave any questions, comments, or concerns here on the video. I do reply to my comments every day as if I can. And um, like, share, and subscribe. Did I say that already? <laughs> don't forget to go out and have a great day, everybody, and do something nice to you, uh, for yourself because you deserve it, and I'll see you later. Bye, guys.